Hi, I'm Fran Pavley. I'm State Senator for the 27th Senate District and Chair of Natural Resources and Water Committee. And we just ended Urban Wildlife Week here. We're walking in the path of P22 and it's been an exciting week. We began this 47 mile journey by starting it off right here in Liberty Canyon in Agora Hills. The site and the beginning of what is envisioned to be an overcrossing over the busy 101 freeway. So I was able to kick off this event surrounded by many supporters. I had the privilege and honor of introducing people like Beth, who is with the National Wildlife Federation, and David Zemanski with the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area, and Agora Hills' own mayor, Harry Schwartz. Cindy Kennard of the Annenberg Foundation made this amazing announcement. I'm pleased to announce this morning that the foundation will support the wildlife crossing at Liberty Canyon Road with a $1 million challenge. A representative of the Chumash gave us a tribal blessing to kick off this hike. Omenakush. <laughs> When we left on our journey, we got to go under the busy 101 freeway and many mountain lions and other mammals have to endanger their lives by going across this freeway. We were able to go under it, walk through a subdivision and eventually got to Malibu Creek State Park. We're passing through this gate. We're now entering Malibu Creek State Park, a designated wilderness preserve on our way to King Gillette Ranch. Hi, we're here in Malibu Creek State Park. We're following the path that several successful mountain lions have followed from the Simi Hills into the central Santa Monica Mountains all the way to Griffith Park. Those animals crossed three freeways. Only two of them made it. Twelve did not. If we're going to continue to have mountain lions in the Santa Monica Mountains, we need a safer way to get them across the 101. And that's what the crossing at Liberty Canyon is all about. We have a bunch of remote cameras spread out across the entire Santa Monica Mountains where we're doing an inventory of what critters are around. In particular, I'm interested in what mountain lions might be around, mountain lions that I do not have GPS radio collared. And we made a super interesting discovery recently. Um, a black bear was picked up on one of our cameras. Yeah, you know, we, we have no idea where this bear came from. We assume north of here, probably in the Santa Susana Mountains. Um, moved south into the Simi Hills and then crossed the freeway. Luckily, um, just last year, we had a black bear killed on the 101 freeway. So this one was lucky, but just another reason to have this wildlife overpass. Um, we know critters are trying to move around and, and we know that the 101 is a huge barrier to movement. So um, this crossing would not only benefit mountain lions, but pretty much every other species out there. On Saturday, Beth and her amazing group of volunteers actually reached Griffith Park. Here we are, almost at the end, wrapping up Urban Wildlife Week with this big party for P22. If you want to get more information about the crossing we're trying to build or connectivity in L.A., go to www.urbanwildlifeweek.org. And, uh, but, and if you, you know, this has just been such a great week of community and coming out to celebrate wildlife and people, because people are doing cool things for wildlife here. And about, as they said, coexisting with our wildlife here in our urban jungle. For now, though, I want to say thank you for being here for our first annual P22 Day.